Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Moving on to the next segment of the program, we will now present a demo day run by the ecosystem arm of Zilliqa and Zilhive. Designed with the aim of driving innovation and promoting blockchain development within the open finance ecosystem across the globe, Zilhive's accelerator arm aims to support startups that are looking to use the Zilliqa protocol to build blockchain solutions. This year's batch of eight companies come from seven different cities across the globe and will be showcasing a range of blockchain use cases from digital asset exchanges to stable coins. Let's get the ball rolling by first hearing from Colin Miles, Chief Commercial Officer and Co-CEO of Zilliqa. Welcome everyone to the 2020 Zilhive Demo Day. If you enjoyed what we put together for you last year, today's presentations by our talented startups will blow that right out of the water. The original Zilhive initiative actually started way back in August 2018 with our grants program. From the very beginning, Zilliqa endeavoured to create an open, inclusive and interoperable ecosystem to boost the value that we deliver to our global community and to drive mass adoption for blockchain across various industries. Over the short two years, our Zilhive initiative has branched out to include education and accelerator programs. Earlier this year, we revamped and restructured our Zilhive initiative to ramp up on our efforts to take the tripartite Zilhive Education, Grants and Accelerator initiative forward. I'd like to give a shout out to a few of our Zilhive alumni, namely Button Wallet, Mintable, Unstoppable Domains and Switchio. They've seen great success in their business and the team at Zilliqa are incredibly happy for them. In the near future, Zilliqa's focus will primarily be on accelerating promising projects in the ASEAN and APAC region before expanding our horizon to the global stage. At the same time, we recognize that education is key to driving mass adoption for blockchain and we will be putting in all our resources to make that vision a reality. Any and all partners are welcome to reach out to join us in our efforts to drive the future of open finance. So, without further ado, let us commence Zilhive Demo Day. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the pitches by our 2020-2021 cohort. ComX, Moonlight, Moonlet, MugglePay, Notabene, Propine, and Rupiah Token. Enjoy the show. Thank you, Colin. With that, let's get started with our first startup who will be presenting at the Zilhive Demo Day. In quarter 1 2020 alone, the spot trading volume for cryptocurrencies was a staggering of 6.6 .6 billion. So how can we make sure that we are compliant and not facilitating any illegal transactions? With that, FATF travel rules impending coming into full force in June 2021, Nota Bene might have just come up with the perfect solution. Let's welcome Alice from Nota Bene. Hi, my name is Alice Naufal and I'm the co-founder of Nota Bene. We are a crypto-focused risk management platform that helps everyone transact with confidence. One of the main hurdles preventing the crypto space from broader adoption has been the lack of regulatory clarity, as well as the absence of proper tools to comply with them. Last year, the FATF issued new guidelines for the virtual asset space, basically extending anti-money laundering guidelines to the space. 35 jurisdictions have so far implemented them, and 30 have introduced new licensing requirements for crypto companies, basically necessitating that VASPs either comply or risk being shut down. One of the new stipulations through these guidelines is something called the travel rule, which basically requires that when an originating customer sends a transaction to a beneficiary customer, the correspondent VASPs are able to share with one another customer information. Complying with the travel rule presents a challenge. It is not easy. We've identified three main challenges. The first one is, in the absence of a SWIFT-like network, how do VASPs identify one another 
and are able to trust each other to be able to send information. The second challenge is that there are multiple protocols that exist today to get a message from VASP A to VASP B. Most VASPs are faced with the choice, which one do I pick? The third challenge is that it is important that VASPs are able to know whether their customer are sending funds to a non-custodial wallet and prove ownership. Altogether, compliance for crypto transactions requires new technical solutions. And we started in Notabene to be able to solve this with a vision to enable regulatory compliant transactions. Today, we have launched a product, which is a solution for the travel. It's the only solution in the market that provides full compliance with these new rules. The first thing that we do is that we solve for vast discovery by providing comprehensive counterparty due diligence, including real-time verification of business information and licensing, and internal security and AML CFT processes. As you can see on the screen, we provide a long directory of VASPs for our customers to be able to KYC them and establish trusted relationships with them. The second thing that we do is that we provide support for multiple protocols, so our customers don't have to pick any one. With only one API and one dashboard and a simple integration into their backend, we can help them basically support multiple protocols and abstract the complexity of that. We're able to route messages accordingly on the right one. The third thing that we do is that we provide a front-end widget to help VASPs identify whether uh, the beneficiary's wallets are custodial or non-custodial, and then be able to do ownership proofs using cryptographic means. And then the last thing is that we've built a very robust platform that helps our customers be able to automate incoming and outgoing transactions based on their own risk rules, all together while leaving an audit trail for the regulators. Today, we're solving for the travel rule, and tomorrow, we would like to provide a full suite compliance platform for our customers. We're building the backend that would power the future of crypto compliance, a highly secure and privacy-preserving layer based on decentralized identity. Our market size, we estimate to be around $30 billion by 2025, driven by two big factors. The first one is the tightening of regulations, where basically as Sophistication of financial criminals grows, and as the tech develops, the regulation is meant to tighten. And the second piece is the growth of the crypto market itself. As the number of wallets grow, so do the number of transactions, as well as transaction volumes. Our business model is SaaS-like, and average contract sizes are between $500 monthly and 10 k We launched in April this year, and we've had a great year. We went live with our product in August, and today have over 15 customers live on our platform. We've raised money from great investors, and we're the only crypto company to be in Y Combinator this summer. We're also part of Zillhive. Going forward, we're aiming to have more than 80 customers by our Series A. Our founding team is formed from crypto veterans and decentralized identity experts. We started and grew Uport, the identity protocol of Ethereum, and we've worked with many regulators and fintechs in the past on the future of KYC. I hope you enjoyed learning about Nota Bene. We'd love to hear from you, whether you're interested in investing, using our product, or introducing us to folks you know. Bye. Thank you, Alice from Nota Bene. The fragmented nature of the crypto wallet ecosystem coupled with unintuitive UI and UX has made managing staking and earning crypto assets a painful and tedious process. Our next startup has the perfect solution. Let's welcome Adrian from Moonlet. Imagine a world where everyone has equal access to financial services, where no one is impacted by high cost, currency manipulation or financial censorship. Having access to affordable cross-border payments improve privacy and security through a powerful and easy-to-use mobile app. We are closer to the vision than you think. Hi there, my name is Adrian and I'm here to talk to you today about Moonlet, a portal to the decentralized world. We are at an opportune moment where the rapid development of permissionless, decentralized and programmable blockchain nettles over the past five years has led to the emergence of a burgeoning decentralized finance ecosystem, returning control and access back to the users. However, the user experience for digital assets is still a painful process. It's inconsistent and fragmented amongst various facets like managing, spending, earning, and staking of digital assets. Furthermore, existing solutions are mainly custodial and centralized. 
We have built a digital asset wallet that enables crypto enthusiasts to securely manage their assets, spend their tokens, earn free cryptocurrencies when they shop online, and manage their return on our platform. Monet currently has over 7,000 active users with 3,500 direct delegations to our four active nodes. In just six months, we have reached $25 million of assets under management, and our projected revenue for the next 12 months would be $250,000. We also have partnerships with next-generation blockchain networks who are equally committed to support the decentralization movement forward. Using a digital crypto wallet has never been easier. Our dashboard allows users to have ready access to their accounts, transaction history, networks, and additional widgets containing relevant info about their portfolio. Further, they can switch between wallets and use the Moonlet app together with the Ledger device. Leverage our QR code smart scanner and initiate payments with just the tap of a button. Users can simply scan the QR code and confirm payments as simple as it sounds. Start earning free crypto by completing purchases via merchant websites. Finalize the online purchase and once the transaction is confirmed, the account address will be credited with free crypto. And with three simple steps, take tokens and receive reward, generating passive income by just holding coins. From a user perspective, Moonlet is an agnostic tool a cross-platform, non-custodial crypto wallet that allows them to interact easily and secure with different blockchain networks. From an engineering point of view, Moonlet is an aggregator. It brings all blockchain building blocks together, making them work seamlessly. We make money by taking a commission from stake tokens and affiliate sales. On non-custodial staking model, we are taking 1% from all the tokens that are staked to our nodes. On the earn free crypto model, we have in mind to take 2.5% from the total affiliate sales. As well, we have other micro-revenue streams available. The total market for staking services is $12.6 billion, which represents the proof-of-stake network's market cap. $8 billion are staked funds, and our obtainable market would be $300 million. On the affiliate side, the total market is $17 billion, from which $7 billion comes from desktop. Our obtainable market would be $200 million in affiliate sales. The quickest and the most efficient way to speed up our traction is to consolidate our position within existing communities built around blockchain networks by integrating more protocols within Moonlet, offering the best user experience possible. We'll target three user segments. The maximalist that use mostly cold wallets, which by the way, we have integration with. Ordinary crypto users, which are open to use both hot wallets, as we are, and cold wallets. And the new joiners. There are a few crypto wallet players that offer custodial cashback mechanisms for online shopping, but none of them are non-custodial. Mule Niche is right here, a non-custodial crypto wallet with a cashback mechanism that leverages the programmability of blockchain networks through self-executing agreements or smart contracts, being 100% in user control. I co-founded Mule together with TB Chris Boy, my mate eight years ago. Our journey started back in 2017 as a blockchain technical community and we shifted along the way to an established business model. Today, we are a team of four, remotely distributed in Norway and Romania, and we went already through a pre-seed investment of $350,000 as a grant equity-free. We are raising $2 million for 18 months financing to reach 250,000 users and $8 million in revenue. We use the funds to expand the team, filling the engineering and marketing needs, to scale our infrastructure, to build the portal to the decentralized world and get ready for a big Series A round in 18 months from now. Here you can find my contact details. Thank you for your time and hope to have the chance to speak to you soon. Thanks, Adrian. Parasite, Moonlight and Rocky, these are just a list of indie films that won big at the Oscars. Staggeringly, over 80% indie films do not even get financed because of the industry opaqueness and high liquidity requirements. Presenting next, Lumiere has the perfect platform to tackle these issues, providing clarity and making film investment accessible to all. Let's welcome Patrice from Lumiere to tell us more. Lumiere is a Singapore-based company. It is a trusted marketplace for safer entertainment investments. Why? Because we're looking to make entertainment more sustainable. And why is this? Because investing in movies is extremely risky. In fact, these two films have one thing in common. They both lost money. Even Berman, which was Oscarized, lost a million because on average, films lose about 10% of their budget. And investors have their money fairly liquid, stuck for two years in the investment. 
Now, at Lumiere, we've looked at these well-known issues. And in 2017, I did a PhD, four-year PhD program with a visiting scholarship with UCLA. The research was peer-reviewed and published as a book. And then I went on an MIT intensive program and with their lean approach, I interviewed in 2018 over 100 industry professionals, which allowed me to test the assumptions. With my team in 2019 to 2020, we did a proof of concept and we onboarded our first clients. Talking about team, so I'm the author of this research, but I have a background in finance, in film finance, but Diego is part of this diversity in the team. He's a serial entrepreneur. He's a mentor at Founders Institute San Francisco. Gareth worked for one of the largest blockchain companies, Cardano, top 10. Salim worked for a Shanghai Media Group-based media company. Alice worked for Al Gore's working group on environmental change. She's a transformation expert for the Italian government, worked for IBM as well. And Bijan is a wealth manager for Barclays. We have a great advisory as well. I will just go very quickly, but it involves um, Vintage House, the largest collection agent in Europe, the line producer of Iron Man 3, the Marco Polo TV series shot in Malaysia, and Pacific Rim, professorship from MIT, video game expertise and capital expertise. We are looking to go pre-cog, a little bit like in Minority Report, essentially our product, Elemis, is allowing investors from the comfort of their house to choose the film they're investing in and to track every single expense on the film, inquire about it, go back, and it allows with the immutability of blockchain for them to make sure that their money, every single penny they invest in the film, ends up on the screen. Now, what we do as well is we allow liquidity for them to strike in. So we made a story last year, for example, by tokenizing the first film ever, Papicha, which was nominated by Algeria for the Oscars and received two Cesar Awards. It's a socially conscious film. That's what we're actually backing up. And it was done in total compliance with the law. Um, we issued the tokens, made sure they were kept in custody and that the clients were allowed to trade. Now, this is a timely opportunity for a very simple reason. There's a surge in demand for digital content by 80%. Asia is reopening its doors for production and also their markets. And execs from all around the world cannot jump on a plane, essentially, and, uh, and deal with the production. So this is a 20 billion socially conscious film market. Now, there is competition, and I'm happy to talk to you after this presentation about it. We're first to market at the moment. A business model is very easy to understand. We take 1% out of uh, budget uh, for traceability, 2% for any deal that's booked on our platform, 3% for digitization and the sale on secondary market. We have partners all around the world. We're founding members of the Blockchain Global Entertainment Alliance. We're backed by the Hong Kong government. Happy to be at Zill Hive. And we have 10 client projects, including Amelie Live Cinema Project we'd like to roll out in Singapore for a total worth altogether of 850,000 US dollars. I will finish showing you that up to 100 film we're in B2B and then we get to B2C where we can open to crowdfunding. To do that, we need to pass milestone number one, 500,000 US dollars to finish the LMS uh, development, 700,000 US dollars to cover marketing costs and get to phase three. I will finish by saying that in 2019, Netflix announced 50 films to be shot in Mexico. That's 400 million dollars total budget, they will lose 40 million out of this. With Lumiere and Elemis, you could recover 20 million out of this and prevent it to be spent. That's just for Netflix and Mexico alone. So can you imagine what Lumiere could do worldwide? If you're looking for safer investment, you've come to the right place. Thank you, Patrice from Lumiere. Ever been frustrated by the exorbitant fees and long processing time for international remnants? What if there was a solution that allows you to receive your funds within the day and at a quarter of current fees? Here to share more, let's welcome Sean from MugglePay. Hi, I'm Sean. I'm co-founder and CEO of MugglePay. We make crypto payment easy. When we talk about crypto payment, you might think it's a small market and there's no one will accept cryptocurrency. Well, that's not the case. 
I'm going to show you how we make this magic happen. Up to now, we have helped more than 4,000 merchants to accept online payments using cryptocurrency. And most of these merchants know nothing about cryptocurrency before. We have processed more than 5 million US dollars in the past six months. All of these are the USDT settled on blockchain. We also have an 18% increase every month in the 37 billion market. And all of these are the organic growth with zero marketing. We got this traction because our team are good at this. I am a serial entrepreneur. I graduated from Stanford CS and I'm in charge of the technical part of Marvel Pay. I used to help small business merchants at Twitter and I'm the winner of PayPal Hackathon. My co-founder Sky used to work at American Express and she knew how hard it is for the merchants to open the bank account. Her experience at Chon Network will help the massive adoption of the cryptocurrency. Our product advisor served billions of users at Facebook and Snapchat. Our BD advisor have a track record of 2 billion sales. We also have the wisdom on regulation and compliance. Now I want to share my story while I take the taxi in Singapore. The taxi says Alipay is accepted here, but the driver say no. He told me, if you pay me in cash, I get it right now. But if you pay me in Alipay, I will get it in 14 days. It's lucky for the driver that he can accept cash. But that's not the case for millions of online merchants who are selling online. The existing solution for the cross-border payments is built on banks. On average, it takes 14 days for the merchants to get paid. The reason it takes so long is because there's a lot of intermediaries. We made this 10 times better. We lowered the settlement time from 14 days to one day. Our solution is built on cryptocurrency and blockchain. Blockchain builds the trust and removes the intermediaries. On one hand, the customers will still use the local payment method as usual. On the other hand, the merchants will get paid instantly. During COVID-19, we have helped two small business merchants survive because we make their cash flow 10 times faster. In the Zuhai program, we also help more Asian merchants to accept stable currencies, especially the regulatory compliant currency, XSGD, which is powered by Zilliqa. MicroPay marries the best of both worlds. Like BitPay and Coinbase Commerce, we offer the instant settlement solution and our cost will be always lower. On the other hand, we provide the same payment experience for the customers, just like Stripe and Visa. The customers, they don't need to know anything about cryptocurrency. We are also working on the emerging market in RCEP. This area covers 30% of the world's population and world's GDP. Our business model is by charging 1% of the transaction volume we process. Currently, we are helping the Asian merchants to accept online payments because they are not well served by the banks. In the near future, we are going to help 18 million merchants who are selling online and the total GTV will be $1.5 trillion. Currently, we are looking for 1 million investment for 18 month runway. We want to expand our merchant network and then we will work on the regulatory and compliance. Let me know if you are interested. Thank you. The Zill Hive 2020 showcased some amazing startups which have gone beyond the technology demonstrator phase and have showcased their understanding of a commercial value proposition through viable business models. For me, the biggest takeaway from the Zill Hive Accelerator program is there's still a lot of really tough problems being solved 
And still a lot of really talented and ambitious entrepreneurs trying to solve them. And so it's really exciting time to be in the blockchain space. Next, with the ambitious goal of opening Indonesia's market to the world through open finance and striving to be the universal bank for Indonesians, the team has successfully launched the most highly adopted IDR stablecoin. Let's welcome Shabrina from Rupiah Token to share more about the company. Hi everyone, my name is Shabrina Dani, Director of Rupiah Token. We are the first and most adopted Rupiah Bank stablecoin in Indonesia. Going back to the historical evolution of digital asset, we can see that crypto and blockchain ecosystem have grown quite rapidly within just under 15 years. In 2019, we saw an important moment which we called the chasm, whereby big countries and companies were planning to issue their own stablecoin. That is the moment where IDRT was born. The reason we created IDRT in the first place is because we see that there was complex user journey as well as shallow liquidity on local exchanges. We also see that the centralized system is not quite effective either. Lastly, there was expensive fee as well as long settlement time, which were not very good for major adoption. So, these are our solutions. We created IDRT with one-to-one -one pegging against IDR fiat, and we also list IDRT on different exchanges, not only locally, but also globally. We also built IDRT on different blockchain networks so that we can reap the best feature possible and give our customer the best solution. So, how does IDRT work? IDRT simply works in two major processes which are the tokenization and redemption. In the tokenization process, user can simply send the IDR fiat to our bank account. We will mean the equivalent amount of IDRT to the blockchain and send it to their wallet address. In the redemption, user can send back their IDRT to our wallet address. We will burn it from circulation, and then we will send the IDR fiat to their bank account with small fees. So we recently launched a very interesting product, which we call IDRT Fiat Gateway API. Using this API, our partners and collaborators can start integrating it and receive IDR deposit from anywhere in the globe, as well as using our infrastructure. We understand that transparency is a key issue for any stablecoin project. That is why IDRT always publishes a monthly attestation report, which is audited by independent auditor. So what are IDRT competitive value? IDRT always has stable value compared to IDR fiat unlike usd backed stablecoin, which has volatile value. Indonesian traders also tend to benchmark their portfolio profit and loss against IDR. That is why IDRT might help them to do so. IDRT also try to overcome the problem in the limited liquidity on local exchanges by connecting IDRT on different global platforms. Indonesia is a huge market with a total available market of 264 million people. In the serviceable available market, there are also digital payment users, which sits at around 147 million people. In the serviceable obtainable market is the crypto users itself, which currently sits at 2 million people users, which covers at around 4 billion users transaction per year. So this is the market landscape of IDRT. IDRT inherits the key feature of blockchain itself, which are transparent, trustless, and borderless. This is our business model. We generally earn revenue from these three main sources, which is the bank interest income, market making gain if any, and withdrawal fees. We use this to cover our costs. And also we rely heavily on key strategic partnership with different stakeholders. We invest greatly on technology. That is why we have banking integration, market making capability, and also secure smart contract. We also work with legal authorities to ensure that IDRT is always compliant to the umbrella of regulation in Indonesia and also another country. This is our business milestone. Thanks to our partners, not only locally, but also globally, IDRT managed to achieve high adoption within just one year. IDRT currently consists of around 50 people which are very passionate around the blockchain and crypto sectors. They are also coming from different and strong institutions from across the globe. This is the roadmap of Rupiah Token. We are striving to become the best stablecoin company not only in Indonesia but also globally. We are currently focusing on listing IDRT on different exchanges not only locally but also globally as well as working with on and off ramp partners and seeking to build on DeFi and OpFi sector. As mentioned before, IDRT currently focus on working with different blockchain network. 
And currently, we are focusing on working with Zilika. And as such, we are seeking for some development funds to support this project. Thank you, and we are looking forward to working with you soon. Thank you, Shabrina from Rupia Token. Monet, Picasso, Van Gogh, what do they have in common? Historically, we are only able to appreciate the brilliance of their masterpieces in galleries and museums. What if I told you there is a way to own them now? Keen to find out more? Let's welcome Chris from Comex. Hi team, hope you're well out there. My name's Chris Perry, I'm the director of Comex.io, which is a digital asset platform based out of Singapore and Australia. As I'm sure most people are aware, COVID-19 has taken the world by storm and drastically impacted traditional methods of doing business. One of the most affected have been art galleries and museums. As people are told to stay home and socially distance, galleries have seen a drastic reduction in the amount of foot traffic they had, which has unfortunately meant lower art sales and clients going through their doors. We can continue to help galleries monetize and sell their artwork and buy us to acquire assets through blockchain-based digital asset trade. Our focus is on enabling greater ease of purchasing assets by democratizing investment. We also allow additional revenue streams for those galleries who need it the most during these ambiguous times. On Artify, Comex's art trading platform, we allow the sale of art online and via the blockchain to a global audience, creating a new market of customers for galleries without the hassle of paperwork in any quantum requested. Galleries select the artwork they wish to fractionalize and sell to the public. There's no barriers to buying once the art is split into pieces. In a special online portal, the gallery adds detail about the artwork to the blockchain. Comex then mint the token to be traded on chain. Anyone can now purchase a fraction of art by trading on the Artify platform. Buyers and investors who have purchased an art token representing the real world art piece can store their tokens in the Artify wallet. As well, the Artify portal will allow galleries to track the sales of their tokenized assets. Since 2019, we've managed to successfully develop a commodity tokenization platform and exchange that launched on ZeroX, and we are currently in conversation with the National Gallery of Singapore to discuss tokenizing their artworks. So why now? There are two trends to capture here. One is the digital economy boom, with a recorded 38% increase in online art sales this year due to less in-gallery visits. And secondly, the need for galleries to reach new markets and customers by reaching new sales leads online. As mentioned earlier, in terms of traction, we are currently in conversation with the National Gallery of Singapore to discuss tokenizing their art pieces. And in the ASEAN region, we are having similar discussions with Mox Creative Hub and Leon Gallery. So how big is the market? In Singapore alone, we have 114 million US dollar opportunity, and it extends to 6 billion when we look to global online art sales and over 60 billion globally for all art sales. Comex's Artify provides a more complete tokenization platform. We have the capability to issue tokenized art and other assets, also allowing the payment of art in fractions with a crypto stable token, and we provide a secondary market for the trading of issued art fractions. All this with a lower brokerage fee to the art seller who wishes to tokenize their art pieces for sale. Comex has identified a low customer acquisition cost, coupled with a lifetime value of each customer gallery exceeding $250,000 US dollars. Comex then charge a 4-8% gross margin after the sale of each art piece or asset sold on the platform. The Comex team have engineering and blockchain talent second to none, coming from some of the biggest blockchain projects in the world. Furthermore, we have an experienced team familiar with launching well-acclaimed startups. We have people who are seasoned in the industry from all around the world, from Silicon Valley to Singapore and Australia. We are also lucky to have great friends and key industry partners from around the world helping us to achieve our goals. As Comex continues to gain traction by improving our asset trading platform and wallet, 
We're asking for 500,000 US dollars investment to accelerate our growth and to help expand our range of assets to tokenize and sell. This should give us 12 months runway to improve the art token trading platform and wallet and boost asset sales made through the platform, achieved by new hires to improve platform design and user experience. Thanks so much for your attention. I believe we are the right team to dominate this niche and call it our own. I look forward to speaking to you soon. Cheers. Thanks, Chris from Comex. Now with over 4.66 billion people online, how can we be sure that we are not engaging with perpetrators of identity theft or botnets? Our next startup has created a DID product to tackle these issues. Let's welcome Ben from Moonlight. Hi everyone, my name is Ben and I'm the product design lead at Moonlight. I've worked in the open source community for a number of years and along with the other members of the Moonlight team have become very familiar with the need for zero trust relationships when working as part of global distributed teams. In this scenario, the capabilities and identities of your colleagues are heavily reliant on personal recommendations and significant leaps of faith. To overcome this area of professional uncertainty, our global team is building two blockchain agnostic products that will provide developers and product owners with a true zero trust solution. First of all, there's the Moonlight Employment Platform, a web-based employment solution that facilitates zero trust global working. The Employment Platform uses our digital identity product Vivid at its core. Vivid is a decentralized self-sovereign identity, access management, and single sign-on solution that enables zero trust relationships. Today, we're gonna to focus on Vivid. Currently, user authentication costs platforms between one to $3 per user, and these costs become significant at scale. Additionally, it's incredibly inconvenient for users because not only does it have to be performed on each platform that requires verification, but there's also a delay ranging from hours to days while the verification process occurs. Consider the time and inconvenience experienced by a user that wants to sign up and trade on multiple exchanges. Vivid has been designed for interoperability so that it's easy to deploy. This means that new users can get into your platform quicker. It delivers a frictionless and secure experience so that new users only have to verify their identity once. And they can use this verification on every compatible platform. So what are the use cases for Vivid? Well, you name it. If the application requires a verified identity, Vivid can be used for that. Vivid can be used across a broad range of demanding applications from employment to voting to journalism and how that can influence voting through to marketing and academia, just to name a few. And while it provides you and it provides you with reliable and cost effective user authentication while addressing privacy and compliance requirements. With Vivid, we independently verify identities in addition to social credentials. And as you can see, we're adding academic and career-based verification soon. These details are then stored on the blockchain using a proprietary encrypted system that is at its core blockchain agnostic. Remember how I said that user authentication costs platforms between $1 and $3 per verification? For integrators, we can significantly reduce this, or this authentication overhead and cost spikes using subscription-based monetization model. This would provide us with predictable income while providing integrators with low per user costs because these authentication costs are spread across multiple integrators at predictable intervals, for instance, monthly or annually. We also have a number of other options available to us for generating additional income. So how do we plan to grow? For integrators, the verification costs are amortized across all compatible platforms. For users, the convenience of only verifying once lowers the barrier to entry, increasing the likelihood of them signing up for a service. And as adoption increases, the feature set becomes more comprehensive and our per user profitability increases. After releasing in June of this year, we're currently in general availability with over 14,000 users, and this number is increasing at a rate of 15% week on week. We also have a number of pilots running and have some academic pilots in the pipeline. Currently, there isn't a solution like Vivid that offers such a low cost, frictionless experience that breaks the existing value cost trade-off. This space is really new, so when we look at this market, we can see that there is a biggest opportunity in the EKYC and verification space. 
Within our operating market, we have a $45 million opportunity in just the blockchain space. In the coming years, our products can open truly uncontested new markets and create new areas of demand. So what do we need? Primarily, we need integrated partnerships to increase our user base. We need industry expertise to help us focus our growth. We also need investment. Your investment would be used for the continued development of the Vivid feature set, expansion of the integration tools, business development, subsidizing the verification of early adopters, and an increased headcount to facilitate faster feature turnaround. Thank you for your time, and if you'd like to know more or discuss how we can help you with your verified identity needs, please get in touch. Thank you, Ben, from Moonlight. Propine is Singapore's homegrown end-to-end -end digital custodian established in 2018. They are the first company in MAS regulatory sandbox to be awarded the capital market license and the only in the world to be accorded the ISO 27001 certification. Seeking to become STO custodian of choice, let's welcome to Haina from Propine to share their solutions. Hi. I'm Tuhina, CEO and co-founder of Propine, an MAS regulated tokenization and custody service provider for digital assets. There has been considerable uncertainty in the past as to how security tokens should be considered within the law. Today, there are clear signs that traditional market infrastructure is adapting to token economy. Large institutions like HSBC, World Bank, NASDAQ, and many more are embracing the new reality that capital markets are on a steady march to be fully tokenized. However, there are three key reasons why industry is still a couple of years away from mass adoption. First, security tokens are regulated through full scope of security regulations. Hence, many of the purported advantages of this asset class are significantly diminished if the infrastructure providing these services is not regulated and compliant. Secondly, most of the solutions available in the market have been focused on only first part of the value chain, which is issuance. And finally, the largest risk faced by the industry comes from the regulatory side. Addressing these concerns has meant involvement of a variety of actors, governments, central banks, and private companies. At Propine, we're inspired by the moonshot ambition to reshape financial services. Propine is reinventing capital markets to make it more accessible, and efficient using blockchain technology. We worked with Monetary Authority of Singapore to become the first licensed custodian for digital assets in the world. And this event has been a watershed moment, not just for Propine, but has served to move an entire industry forward. It has enabled several hesitant but eager institutions waiting on the sidelines to be able to participate in digital securities. Our solution covers full scope of deal life cycle, starting with issuer services like tokenization, cap table management, issue authentication services, as well as custody, asset servicing, reporting, and finally, secondary trading facilitation through our partner exchanges. The solution itself is easy to operate at the click of the button. The sample video here shows how the tokenization token distribution event is administered. In this video, you will observe three different participants, the front office, mid office, and back office, acting as maker, checker, and executor. Front office creates the request. Here, data for request is shown being given through CSV file, but the same can be provided through web portals or APIs. The request so created flows to mid office, who checks it and approves. Depending on how complex this request is, the step may be automated through a rules engine or may involve an actual person checking and verifying the request details. After the mid office, the process flows to back office. The officer in charge will check that request has approved status and will proceed to implement it at the click of the button. We have a dashboard which allows for a variety of actions to be taken and also gives access to several reports. While we don't have direct competition, but we do face competition from a variety of classes of competitors. The first being the issuance platforms, which are typically unlicensed and do not take care of custody or reporting aspect. The second are the trust entities, which act as custodians in crypto space. In general, such custodians will be able to handle the custody aspect of security tokens, but the solution is not designed to handle asset servicing, reporting, or even issuance. And finally, we have banks and similar large financial institutions, which will emerge as strong competition in medium to long term. 
We are actively engaged with this group to understand their roadmaps, their capabilities, and are creating partnership opportunities wherever they become relevant. The market opportunity is obviously huge as capital markets are tokenized over the next 5 to 10 years. And we expect Propine to capture a large chunk of it with its first mover advantage, as already evidenced by the traction seen. We have several distinct revenue streams. Some of them are core issuance based, while others are annuity income. And as we grow, we will continue to add further services to our portfolio, creating an investment bank for private markets, one service at a time. We have a strong team already in place and are aggressively hiring for our next phase of growth. Our management team currently has nearly 60 years of experience in capital markets, enterprise software development, marketing, and compliance. So, if you enjoy defining the future, reach out to me at the coordinates mentioned here. Thank you. We have been really excited to participate in the Zilhav Accelerator program. We strongly believe that the diversity of the community and the ecosystem being built on Zilliqa, as well as the broader Singaporean market, will propel it to be not only at the forefront of the next tech wave, but actually help drive its growth. Hey, this is Adrian from Mullet. We received tremendous support from Zilhive throughout the program. Team members, mentors, partners, and many others generously provided feedback and helped us a lot. They made many introductions, connecting us to potential investors, increasing our visibility. Thank you, Zilhive and Zilika, for leading the way in helping to grow Moonet, supporting us to identify more opportunities and have a greater chance for success. Good job. So at Lumia, we're glad we were selected at the Zilhive Accelerator, which is organized by Zilika. And the reason for that is it has a very strong and far-reaching network. And also, it's great to be part of an ecosystem. Uh, we've been humbled by the other projects that were part of it. So, very happy to be at Zill Hive. Zill Hive opens the door for us to get into the Southeast Asia market. For example, we have partnered with Rupia Token in this cohort, and together we are expanding into the payments in Indonesia. All of this partnership, integration, and product launch happens during this program. In the meantime, Zilhive will connect you with the mentors with specific domain knowledge, including payments, regulations, investments. Zilhive Accelerator is a well-packaged program which is very beneficial for early and highly growing startups in the blockchain sector. Not only the Zilhive team members are very attentive and supportive with our project, but they also have wide networks and mentors from various sectors who are very humble to guide us through. And most importantly, this is the best place for us to introduce our product and extend our networks across the globe. Thank you. Zilhive is a really great platform because they understand that blockchain ecosystems require a different approach than traditional accelerated programs. It's allowed us to meet a diverse group of mentors and to hear from the people that would use Vivid that there is a real need for it. The Accelerator has given us the opportunity to really refine how to pitch a next generation identity solution and Vivid has real world applications and we're super proud of it. I just want to say a really big thank you to Zeal Hive Accelerator and the other startups. The whole program was well put together and impressive. Everyone was friendly and supportive with amazing mentors and coordinators skilled to assist with all aspects of startup life. It's been a lifeline for us throughout this year, hustling with the online format. We've managed to network with the best people in the blockchain industry. We've had top friends who have helped us in our Zilhive journey. Thanks to everyone for helping us improve our pitch, business case, and strategic thinking. It's been fantastic. Cheers. Zilhive team has been a phenomenal team to work with. For one, they have been very open to tailor the contours of this program to suit the requirements of what the needs of our company are at this stage. They have very generously extended their network to us and have created some valuable connections in the process. So thank you, Zilhai, for your amazing support.